In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a low polygon count model of a boot. In subsequent tutorials, I'll show you how to join the boot to the lower body of a character and eventually how to join all the parts of a character together. I'm going to trace the boot from a background image, so I'm going to click the plus to open up the property side panel. I'm going to click the black triangle next to background images, tick background images, click add image, click open, go to the folder where your image is, select the image and open image. Now the image will only be displayed in one of the standard orthogonal views, so I'm going to go to front and change perspective to orthogonal. There's our background image. Scrolling in with the mouse wheel, uh, the background image is very large, so I'm going to go to size, I'm going to drag on size to make that smaller, and then I'll click on the side to make it smaller again on the arrow there. I'm going to go into edit mode, I'm going to press delete on the keyboard and delete all the vertices. I'm going to zoom in using the mouse wheel. Now at the moment we've got an object called cube that's had all its vertices deleted. To add vertices I'm going to hold down the control key and left click with the mouse button. Now if you changed your selection to left clicking It'll, you'll have to hold down control and click with the right mouse button. Now I'm not going to make a model of a ski boot. I'm just using its shape roughly. So I'm using a bit of artistic license. to about there. I don't want the background image anymore so I'm going to untick background images. I don't want the 3D manipulator widget so I'm going to turn that off. I want to make an edge here so I'm going to hold down shift and select both vertices. Mesh, edges, make edge. Now I want to fill the shape with nice four-sided faces, quads. So this vertex is going to cause a problem so I'm going to hold down shift, uh, mesh, Vertices merge, merge at last, and that gets rid of that vertex. Uh, I'm pressing A twice to select all, and Mesh, Faces, Fill. And in the Faces menu is Tries to Quad, and the computer will try and convert as many triangular faces to quads as possible. Before applying the Subdivision Surface Modifier, it's very important to have only quad faces. I'm going to select this vertex, which is part of a triangular face. I'm going to press delete on the keyboard, delete vertices, and it gets rid of the face. I have a triangular face here. Now I'm going to select this vertex, hold down shift, select this vertex, and click the subdivide button. That adds a vertex in the middle. I'm going to select a vertex, hold down shift, and select three vertices to make a quad. I'm going to go to mesh, faces, tries to quads. And that makes a quad face. I'm going to repeat that, select a vertex, hold down shift, select three other vertices, and mesh, faces, tries to quads. Notice the shortcut key is Alt J. And I have a triangular face here, the last one. I'm going to select these two vertices, hold down shift, select the vertex, click subdivide, and again select one, hold down shift, select three more and Alt and J converts that into a quad, select a vertex, hold down shift, three more vertices and Alt and J. Now all the faces are quads. I'm going to press A on the keyboard twice to select all, followed by R to rotate. I'm going to rotate the boot so that the bottom is roughly level with the ground. I'm going to select this vertex and I'm going to enable proportional editing. I'm going to press G to grab and Z or Z for the Z or Z direction. I'm using the mouse wheel to reduce the area of influence of the proportional editing. I'm going to move the vertex up to about there. I'm going to go into the view menu and toggle quad view. I'm going to press A twice to select all and E to extrude and I'm going to extrude to a numeric value of 0.5 and enter. 
Now I'm going to apply the subdivision surface modifier. So I'm going to click the modifiers button, add modifier, subdivision surface. I'm going to change the level of subdivision to 2. I'm going to go to edge select mode and select the front edge and press S to scale to shape the toe of the boot. Now I'm going to use the mouse wheel to alter the area of influence of the proportional editing and about there. And I'm going to go to loop cut and slide and add a loop cut to square off the top of the boot. And I'm going to go to the view menu and toggle quad view. And there we have a quick low polygon boot. In subsequent tutorials I'll show you how to join this together with other parts to make a low polygon character. I'll put the file just before extrusion and the finished file at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.